first time I came into the household of Captain Dr. Idahosa Okumbo was on a mission, a royal mission, very much like Eliza was sent by Abraham to go get a wife for his son. That was my mission then. I had never been face to face with him, but that was the day I came. And just as Eliza could say, I being in the way, the Lord led me. That was the way I also felt. And of course I had to come again, this time around, to take her away. And eventually present her, along with her husband, to Ogeame Atuashi II, who was the king then. Ever since then, now and again, our paths have crossed and I could see very clearly that the hand of God was upon him in a very special way. And you could see some things, even if in retrospect, that God was actually actively leading him step by step from one stage to the other and ultimately culminating in what we are celebrating here today. He came a brilliant young man and he took to flying and conquered the skies. One would have thought that at a time when he was soaring so high and had great command of the skies that he would have remained there. But no, he didn't. He saw his mission to the skies was concluded at the time most people would have thought he would continue. It came down to earth and he's labored in the seas and has also done tremendously well and he has also laid his hands on growing things from the earth. And as I said a couple of days ago, when we think about what he has done, you would say his vision was very far, far ahead, way out of his time, way out of his immediate surroundings, such that many more years to come, he will still go on being copied in terms of what he has laid his hands to do. And when you think again, why has it moved in such a way that only a meteor could move? So fast, so bright, and so on a well-charted course, and to achieve such laurels that the ovation was loud, and yet that was the time to bow away from there and go elsewhere. And so one is not surprised, as I reflect about it later on, that is having to go when he has been called away at a point in time when would have thought in terms of years of longevity, he still had many more to spend here, and yet this is the time for him to leave. And I would answer such people and say, just as it was, when he left flying, when the ovation was loud, because there was something else to do, and then came to do other things, so it is that by God's own creation and mandate for him, he has conquered everything there was to be conquered. And you know, there are some who might question and to say, why now? Why now? But I would answer and say, why would he not go home? 
he who has a home to go to. The only reason to linger around when there's nothing else to do but to go home is when there is no home to go to. But in his case, he has a home prepared by the creator himself, the redeemer. Because I got to know this for a fact, that he had given his life to the Lord Jesus Christ and God's own promise, Christ's own promise to say, I go away and prepare a place for you. That applied to him in real terms. And I'm sure he was well aware of that and he knew he was going home. So why would he not go home? Who has a home to go to? When all that is left here is concluded and there's nothing left than to go home. So he has gone in his right time. Although the tears may flow, the tears may flow not in despair, not in frustration, but in the severance of endearment when they would have wished for him to be around much longer so you could interact with him and enjoy his presence and fellowship. I suppose that's why the tears would flow. But if it, if it were a matter of whether it's been a loss or not, no, no. Tears will not flow, but joy instead. He has come, fulfilled his mandate, concluded all that God had given him to do, and has left legacies to show whether in the number of people, endless pe number of people whose lives he has touched, some of whom we have heard of here tonight. And you may not know, there are some who have gathered themselves from the creeks and come to see Ogiame Atuwaje III. Even though they rejoiced and congratulated him, the next thing they had to say was that Captain Ahosa was their leader. And they saw the immediate representation that they could cry onto was Ogiame Atuwaje III, the Ulu of Wari, because of his connection with Captain Itahosa Okumbo. So he's left his stamp everywhere. Let us rejoice in that. And let's take the challenge to live as we ought to. Wherever God has placed us, let's make the most of it. And leave our time and leave our stamp behind too. So that when it is time to go home, we will have a home to go to. We rejoice today because he is at home, at home with Jesus, at home forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm.